Hello everyone, my name is the Ember Knight, or Ember for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Bridge Curse Road to Salvation. This is part three in the series we are currently doing. Is that a crested miner or a crow? It's so loud. We're just gonna continue the game straight away. Fuck! A hard to get DC out camera, it takes high quality pictures and videos, but its price is high too. <laughs> So, if you remember last episode, we ended it with having to collect the video equipment and head towards the dorm room. Dorm room, sorry, a multi purpose professional tripod for mounting and stabilizing camera. One needs to have a decent camera and a good tripod. Shit, I got this as well. <clears throat> there are more important things to do. I mean, camera, tripod. Oh, my talisman too. Huh? This is my talisman. They just left it here like this. So inconsiderate. Who I promised was she would look after it for me? What a liar! She's always been bossy, but this time it's my turn to return the favor. Nice. Why is there fog all of a sudden? Monster. It's so dark. I can hardly see. This school needs more street lights. Turn around. Hey! Shin Chao has finished the live stream. You can stop this now. Time to call oh, it shit. a day! I didn't even notice her. Hey! That's close enough. What, have a secret crush on me? Don't get any closer! Someone's just gonna just fall want? towards us. I told you, the live stream is over. <laughs> Shit! You're taking this too far. What's the matter with you? What the heck? Shit, 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 shit! You know, I'm just curious, what's the jump scare? Oh, it's her again. Got you. Shit, shit, shit! Are you a person or a ghost? S say something! Stop messing around and tell me this is only a prank. Or anything for that matter. I don't taste good, and I don't look good either. Plus, I stink. A lot. D -d don't come any closer! My god, dude. Classic fear. What was that? Hey. Where's the wire? That there looks like hair, but that looks like wire. Head to the dorm and seek help. Oh shit! Shit! Uh, again? Why is the dorm so far away? Please say I'm going to the right door. <laughs> Are 
you kidding me? <gasps> no way. This can't be. It's just too ridiculous. God damn it! Chen, Ru, where are you? That's some proper bendy in the ink machine stuff, that. <clears throat> Hope the black one is wrist. Okay. Wallet. Regardless of age or gender, everyone wants one filled with cash. Of course, I would prefer to stuff it with the credit cards. Got nothing to say about the orange zone. A book used to monitor all students so there's records on all the rooms on their residence. Second floor, room 203, Day Sinju, third floor, room 307, Ting Ming Lei, 317, Bo Ru Ming, 387, Lin and Cheng. So he's all by himself then. The guy I'm playing as, I think. What am I gonna get? I will keep back later. I'm very curious to see what everyone gets. A seemingly coming vending machine that occasionally drops unexpected items. Rumour has it it was possessed by a spirit who was once a student, and only those favoured by the spirits have a chance to get special gifts. However, the spirit never cares whether the student likes its gifts. You're next! What? Huh? What the hell? Jesus Christ, that scared us. No one is here. Why isn't anyone here? Oh boy, I'm locked in. <coughs> That's a weird ass brush. <coughs> Sorry about that. No, I'm good. No one's home. I'd rather not go in the layers of Fiora's room with the canvas. Okay. So it's just the same rooms, but nothing's changed in them, and the items have disappeared. Than that. Okay, enough for us. Fuck. I still don't quite understand like what's going on in this game like what's with all the different people well what's with all the different spirits and what not pea crackers sounds delicious helmet protective gear for bike riders heads in case of a serious collision it is a strongly recommended purchase as accidents can happen anywhere even on a seemingly safe campus that's probably a game character I reckon Box of snacks. Lin N snacks. She wrote her English name on it to make sure everyone knows. Anyone who does eat snacks from it without a permission will be ruthlessly punished. They're really cute. I like the octopus and the little muffin boys. Oh, we can open every door now. Ooh. Certificate of Merit for Boru winning the award is not about honour, it is about proving her to herself that she has not yet become complacent. 
Certificate of Merit from Tonghu University. Borrowing Meng, a third year student from Law Department, has performed well academically and ranked second in her class. The certificate is presented as a means of encouragement. Point three. She doesn't believe in forever love, but she believes at the very least that we won't let go of her hands when they are together. That he won't let go of her hands. He? Cherished picture. She believes that one day she'll be able to show of us this picture and let him let them know what that they are together. No thanks. Happy birthday. Don't know who that is. Suppose I'm not meant to go on a computer or something. Shit, shit. I was almost scared to death. Can I really pick up a call like this? Uh, hello? Huh? What's on the fourth floor? Who and the others are there? Should I go? I have a bad feeling about this. Well, have you got any other leads? What the fuck was that? Oh, so everyone is here. Jin Chao, are they real? You're okay. I just ran into a ghost. You gotta be more careful. Are they real? Huh? Something's not right. You're disgusting. How dare you make out right in front of me! What are you talking about? One moment, wait here. What? Hey, Chen! Huh? Wen Yao? Why are you here? Stop playing dumb. You told me to come to the fourth floor. What? Ah, stop lying. I almost got scared I'll go to death help by a real ghost. Find Wait, don't leave me behind. No. Oh, what? That doesn't make any sense. So, were they real or were they like figments of the imagination? Who God knows. Members of Camp Bridge Curse, Boruming. A junior law school student, Boro Meng is the camp leader, a well-known figure from the law school. Boro Meng is known for her intellectual prowess, beauty, and practical attitude. She is often seen as a goddess among male students. She likes to host events and thus voluntarily join the students' union. For Camp Bridge, could she nominate herself as the camp leader and vow to make this year's event the most successful yet? He's not here either. <sighs> Chen just ran off like that. What the heck is he doing? Forget it. I'll just give him a call then. The signal is weak here. Find a place with strong signals. Daikun's pill box. As some of the one who suffers from sleep disorders, he takes sedatives regularly to help him sleep. That's a lot of pills. Precious poster of goddess Sammy. A cheerleader for a well known basketball team, a model and not. Sammy is also the campus goddess of Tonghu University. Although she is extremely talented, she calls herself a nobody. Her unique sense of humor and her sporty appearance are what make her center. Her passion for sports has greatly influenced and encouraged her fans to be more active in sports. To the point where one group may fight, have to fight another on campus just so they can get a place to play these sports. Okay. Analysis on quantum berry communication issues. Department postgraduate school of mass communication score nine. 
Question one, 50 points. Please give detailed explanation on kinds of impact mobile technology have on use, commercial marketing and video creation, each answered separately. Moreover, why did these impacts occur? Please apply appropriate theories when elaborating on your explanations. Please explain how the con therapy media handle news that is related to social movement. What are the features of these reports and what kind of impact could they have on social activists? Strategies for future movements. Note students should write the answers on the sealed answer sheet. This is page one. Okay. Where the hell am I, by the way? Is this like... Huh? Was the second floor this old and dirty before? By Andy. From trees that often grow near temples, these leaves are used to repel evil. Carrying a few when one is traveling may be a good idea. However, be careful when one's full name is called when carrying one. These one must not answer nor look back otherwise. A torn picture, picture of Dyson. Looks like a picture of Dyson Kun. Another person. The picture was torn in half. Was this an accident or was it intentional? You know I'm going to look behind me, right? If I hear my name. Baseball cap. The only thing that seems special about this baseball ball cap is the number 4 o'clock. But there also seems to be something about the... The blood. Why is everyone in this game so damn chill about like all these like paranormal shit going on? Like, I want to I say right now, if you came to the second floor and it was like that, like proper clean, and you exit and it's like just all friggin' dirty and whatnot, there is no way that is a possible prank that they could just like. No one is that fast enough to. Women only. No one's as that fast to. do stuff like that. Okay, can I go through there? If that makes sense, like, no one is, like, going out their way to be speedy as possible just to freaking make a room look like a prank. Okay, the signal is quite go. Oh, hell What no. are you doing right now? Nothing. I just saw Chin Chow. I thought she was looking at us. Something was off about her, so I went after her, but never found her. Weird. What? When Yao just told me that he saw a ghost, you in on this prank too? When Yao was run into it, huh? Da Chin Ji. All right, I will stop. Where are you? I'll come find you. You should stay with Wen Yao. That way it's safer. Our equipment is still on the bridge. And I forgot my power bank in the communication classroom. I'll go meet you later. Bye. Hello? Hello? What the heck is going on? Everyone is acting weird. <laughs> Find when you're on the dome. Are we? I'm assuming it's not going back to the second floor. Wen Yao? Wen Yao? Did he go back into his room? Even if he did, I just want to say, how the hell can you be so calm about any of this? After he took a Ting Ming board, he bought it out of peer pressure from his classmates. Unexpectedly, it won quite a prize. and someone just jump out. Okay, 
Oh, thank God. I was expecting one of them to open as well. Okay, well, I know where he is. A freshman's handwritten. Handwriting. Thank you, no reads. Thank you, Smartman. One, two, four, five, for you. I hope you're the best. List of items purchased Dulex water based lubricant moisturizing, Dulex based cranberry. So just lubricant. Not explain the poster. Hey! Fuck! What are you yelling for? If you don't want to see me, I'll just leave. <sighs> no, please don't do that. If you'd seen what I saw, you'd. No, wait. I hope you never see what I saw. <sighs> Did you know? I wasn't lying to you. Please don't give me that look. How about this? What's happening to you? I give you one guess. I thought she was with you, but it turns out that she. Someone told me about it before. Something terrible happened four years ago on the bridge. We're doomed. So the crying baby sound just now? So you did encounter something as well, didn't you? I told you not to do this challenge at the bridge. What do we do now? We should find Chen first. He said he'd go to the communication classroom to get his stuff. We'll wait for him there. Huh? But Tien already told me to get his stuff off the bridge. I don't know why I went back to say that. Hey, I thought it was interactable. Smartman1245 is your username, isn't it? Shit, you even searched for it, huh? Do you actually have a crush on me? I came across some of the gossip you posted on the school forum. The username in the text instantly gave you away. Okay, sorry, I need to head towards the communication classroom. What a creep. What a creep. I think I know where to go. If I remember correctly, it's, um... Indestructible sign in philosophy department secret treasure. Legend says that it's an indestructible sign in a law school classroom that's simply unbreakable by any means. There's also a strange room about a stash camp as treasure in the philosophy classroom, though less unknown that than the legend of the bridge occurs. These two camp legends have grown in popularity in recent years. Oh, right. Did that someone say anything else to you? Quite a lot, actually. He told me about all the famous legends when we were freshmen. About the yellow anglers by the lake and the dark figure in the garden. Oh, and the one that's the most popular in your law school. Do you mean the indestructible sign in the law school classroom? Tell me that some huge secret of the school is hidden behind the sign that never breaks. I heard there's even a sign whacking challenge in your department. Unlike you, I actually have a life. Psh, this is called an appetite for seeking the truth, all right? An unbreakable sign. Hmm. We value truth and actions. We set the standard for creativity and excellence. Okay. Required reading for students who take in deductive classes of philosophy. It is written and by the world renowned professors. Chen? Chen? Who's Chen again? Oh, hell no. Just reminds me of that um, Junjito episode and story about the mannequins with the. They're obsessed with. Ugh, what the is this? Hair? Hair? Why yeah. is it? So that's the big tongue woman. 
But the Junjito episode with them. Um, the mannequins are obsessed with. I'll go back in there in a minute. But the mannequins are obsessed with, like, getting people's heads. Uh, touching themselves. Touching the heads of people to their own bodies. As the guy who made the mannequins. Never liked heads. Or something like that. I don't remember the story, but. Highly recommend reading Junjito if um if you like Japanese horror and just horror in general. I don't think he's here yet. Let's wait here for him. Will Chen be all right? I'm afraid something might have happened. Don't jinx it. Hey, Bo Rumang. It's just malfunctioning. Don't panic. Woo. Oh, I do not like that. An unplugged printer printed and spit out this paper with a strange figure on top. The message on the back reads, I'm searching for you. Or if I press this printer, it's something like freaking eight. I swear to God. Or like it comes out the screen. This is... For some peace of mind. He's away. Okay, Ooh. it wasn't anything here. What? What are you doing? Take a look at this room. The sign really cracked. It did. I thought this was supposed to be indestructible. Busted! You tried whacking it before, didn't you? Well, why don't you try to hit it now? It seems kind of cool to see a law student do it. I haven't even settled the score with you for losing my talisman. <sighs> hey! Where are you off to? I'm going to find a hammer. The student to pay content contest is Boru's most confident contest to participate in. As someone who wins regularly in contests, is only in a relationship the edge of his defeat. The student speech content is Boru's second most confident contest to participate in. No one could outform her in writing and delivering a powerful speech, making it a pride of the law school. Okay, well, I don't know where the hammer is. Gavel that embodies justice. Your case in it has been mistaken as a tool for massage. I don't know how that's going to work. It's just a. <gasps> Fair enough. Whoa, it's really broken. Hmm? What is this? Both fortune and misfortune follow the blade. Is this a sword? It must be an impressive one to be stashed away here specifically. If you won't take it, I will. I think I'll be the one keeping <sighs> Let's it. Let's head to the security office and use the cameras. Hopefully we can find others that way. Okay, I will admit I don't like the idea that they do over. Banknote. Necessity for daily life and going out. It works well with both in this mm -hmm. world and one after. Why on earth is this thing here? Are they real dollar bills or fake ones? How much is in there? You're a lost cause. Hey, I'm serious. Don't even think about it. We have to return it to the school, whether or not it's real. Why are you being so serious? I was just playing. That's some bull. There are more important things to do. Hey, right, so for... we've been saying and calling Chen ever since we entered the dorm. It's a little too obvious. Spit it out if you have something to say. Don't you laugh in such a disgusting Stop way. Playing dumb. I know you're going out with Chen. So much for our friendship, huh? I thought we were tight, but you actually don't tell me anything. If possible, I'd like to go public with it too, but... His history with Xin Qiao. I get it. I won't spread your secrets around, don't worry. Okay, thanks. Okay, well we kind of go through that, so... Is the security office maybe the thing back here? I mean, I've noticed it's one of them games that doesn't let you free roam if it's not necessary. So maybe this is the security office.
Regardless of the time period, supernatural phenomenon have always been in popular topics. Article title, The Bridge Curse, tragedy behind the well-known campus legend. Content, The Bridge Curse of Tong Hue University has been well-known for a long time. It also includes one of the taboos local students loves to challenge rumour, has it that when you walk on the cursed bridge at midnight, a female ghost might appear and kill you if you cut the, the staircases while walking. As for the identity of the female ghost and what happened to her before her death, there have been numerous versions of the myth circulated around the campus. According to our investigation, the original event may have been related to the sexual assault of a student named Chen, which happened 10 years ago on this day. Unfortunately, this case has been kept confidential and is hard to find this See? information. See? I told you, didn't I? It wasn't a coincidence or a suicide by the lake. It says here that the cursed bridge... Stop mentioning the curse! You can just call it the bridge! Shut up. It says the ghost became a ghost due to a rape case on campus. It's no use, even if we figure out the causes of everything. It's not like we could talk her into letting it go. That's too early to say. Knowing more could help us get a better handle on things. I mean, instead of going through all that crap, isn't it better if you grab some exorcism tools and charge in there with me? I'm not bragging, but the things I bought are really useful. They all have great customer reviews. Hold that thought till we find Chen and the others. See if you can find any other useful info. If not, let's go check out the security footage. Yeah, I've already, I've already read that. An old record book that shows every known university visitor in 1979. Two detectives, one forensic, time 8.30 a.m. Hey Sun, who's Chen parents, time 11 a.m. Four detectives, two forensic investigators. One time was Bro, hurry up and get over here! Jesus Christ, man. So, yeah, it's definitely. From what I understood, the, the person that died, they had like investigators and whatnot come over. Then a priest, probably, to like stop the ghost from escaping or something. Even though computers are ambiguous, security guards in the university still maintain the tradition of using notebooks to contact and communicate with each other. The school wants us to be more stringent with the rules when it comes to the media. Don't let any of them go near the bridge. They'll want to take pictures there. The young Taoist priest from Nanan Temple came last night and ran a ritual. He claimed that the talismans on the side of the bridge is gone and he wasn't able to handle something that's powerful. He said a lot of things. I didn't get and gave us some amulets claiming they could protect us. You guys need to be careful when going on that bridge patrol and we're praying for another day at the statue and wear an amulet before heading out. Better safe than story. So what up? Did you find anything? What's this? Focus. We're not after gibberish like this. This is not just some garbage. This is the exorcism wiki. It's really valuable, alright? Look, it says here that there's a powerful exorcism sword, the Qi Xing sword. Doesn't it look very much like the one we found earlier? It also mentions an exorcism ceremony for the souls of the dead to be forgiven. And something about using water and fire? Anyway, it's about exorcism. Failed. Last chance to... But the timelines don't make sense. Why did someone write this down? Who is this message for? There's no need to study it. Just follow the instructions in the book. And why would I do that? Just a hunch. But I mean, this person knows about the Qi Xing sword. It's gotta be legit. Okay, let's say all the claims are real. That would leave us with questions. First, if we can exercise the ghost, why hasn't someone done it already? Second, if the exorcism fails, what will happen? Third, can we make it work with only half of the Sheezing sword? Hey! Shit, fine, I'll go alone. I don't care if I only have half the sword. You don't know if you don't try. It's better than doing nothing here. Give me the stuff. There you go. If I succeed, you all owe me dinner. An expensive one. And you'll have to address me as a senior like you really mean it, okay? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hmm. I'll go help him out after I find everybody. Well, he's got a point. You never know if you don't try.
we gonna see some ghosts on camera. Are they? Tin and Lenen? Why are they heading towards the dorm? Strange. Is that someone in front of them? Oh, yeah, that is definitely someone. Could it be the ghost is after Tin and Linen? This won't do. I have to find Chun and work with him to save them. Which you could have done a while ago, but you didn't. Folk custom bayan leaves. The bayan leaves are good for repelling evil energy. It's one of the folk's customs to carry the leaves for divine protection when visiting places of misfortune, such as hospitals or funeral parlors. Perhaps it could also serve as a purifying agent when you're being haunted by unwanted entities. It wouldn't hurt to bring some leaves with you when you wonder about the compass to Jin Chao? What do you want? Let's talk. <laughs> Talk about. Talk about how you were making out with that bitch and lying to me, or how you dumped me. I tried to reason with you. I only started dating Rue after our, our breakup. Our breakup? I didn't Could agree to that. you stop this that? already? We can still be friends. You said that you would always love me. And I believed you. When I first got here, you were the nicest, Xin Chao. I loved you back then. Had you not changed for the worse? Okay, fine. I don't blame you. I just found out about your mental condition. I don't want your sympathy. Sure. I thought it'd be different this time. I was wrong. You will both go to hell! Murder. <laughs> My head hurts. Chin. Save me! I'm not a murderer! Please, love me tenderly like you used to. That was a Thank bit you. change. I can help me. My feelings towards you are long gone. Do what you're supposed to do. And enough with your shenanigans. Chin! Chin! Okay, well, I think that is, once again, a good place to end the episode for now. Um, because it's getting to that 40 minute mark again. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today. If you want to see more videos like this, I'll leave links in the description, as always. And I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye.